time to talk about this week's I Zombie episode, full spoilers as always, for season two, episode five, entitled Love and Basketball. Liv eats the brains of a peewee coach. Peewee? Peewee. Like peewee basketball. Yeah. Okay. Do you not have, have that term? term? No, we don't have no, that. No, we don't have that term. I, okay. thought, I thought you were trying to say PE and just fucking up. No, that's a term here in the US. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, so uh, yeah, that happens. And also, um, Blaine makes Ravi work on a new cure. I'm just imagining like a class full of people dressed as Pee Wee Herman and like a coach <laughs> comes in and tries to train them how to be like Pee Wee Herman. That's what I was doing. So. <laughs> well, it's not even a class. It's just, uh, it's just a, the name we use to describe like child leagues for yeah, different okay. sports. You know, like I don't really 12. know why, but no, that's, really that's just... It's a strange choice of words. Yeah. It is. Now that I... Now that it's been brought to my attention, so uh, it's very weird. Connor, what did you think about this week's episode? Well, as always, it was a lot of fun. Every week, it's just fun. I'm constantly laughing. Like the, the kids in particular, they cracked me up when they appeared. Hmm. And they were like, uh, do, do, do we have the death penalty? And they were just like, <laughs> good. <laughs> <laughs> just like, yeah. damn. Kids, uh, yeah. yeah he's, he's, going, he's going for the jugular. Uh, uh, what made me laugh more than anything was the f- race to the jar of a uh, zombie killing uh, juice because god damn that was like five Peter. minutes of Peter it was the cure come on that wasn't the cure yeah, that's no, it was the, the killing because they tested it and thing. it killed the zombie yeah, so it a wasn't weird, a cure anymore. The weird one. Oh, yeah, but they played the cure song. Over. The cure I was song, just making yeah. a joke on what Blaine was saying. Uh, I, I wouldn't know a cure, cure song. song. So. Well, Blaine sung it when he came in, and he was like, "Come on, the cure." And then, then they played the same song. Oh, I didn't. I didn't, yeah, I didn't get that. I don't really know the cure. Yeah, I don't know the cure either. Yeah. Weird. Anyway, uh, <laughs> what probably got me was when they were in Tacoma, and Ravi was going off with. <laughs> oh that. yeah, that was great. That was fucking awesome. Oh, as you can see. Ours are also air conditioned, just like the big city. <laughs> really? <laughs> so that, remind- all that was great. That reminded me of just like in Parks and Rec, how they hate the librarians. Uh, it just kind of reminded me of that. Yeah. Just- yeah. No, that was awesome. There, there was a lot of good Ravi moments. Um, I'm also really enjoying how uh, every time that there's a crime scene and Ravi and Liver there, they're always doing this dumb banter back and forth about yeah. like what the person <laughs> probably did or how they got killed or whatever. Yeah. Well, this one was great. <laughs> they were like, it was just wanted it to be solved. Like, imagine if the guy was just here, and then he got hurt, and then he walked over and it's and he lived he was next to in handcuffs. Next to the and then he was already handcuffed, and they just found him. <laughs> and he was just muttering his Miranda Miranda rights to himself. <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> yeah, I'm really loving that stuff. Clive uh, did not look impressed. Well, there were a lot of good Clive moments this episode, though. Yeah. Surprisingly. Oh, see, yeah. see, actually, speaking of laughing, when he's getting like his ass chewed by the uh, the like the the boss and the you know the, the new love interest, and yeah. the, the love interest is behind like the window of the office doing the stairs and the, the swimming and stuff. Like, oh, yeah, man. that was good. Well, I like the the basketball one. She's like, wait, are you really talking sports? I've had, you're a Knicks fan? I was like, I've had this mug for the last four months. You were throwing paper clubs in it. And you thought it was the Knicks stood for knickknacks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're really building him to, like, I mean, even the, the, the cliffhanger is like, how, like him getting closer to the knowledge of zombies. and Yeah. Uh, yeah. But, but we're building to that. That's definitely well, what that Now we got the idea that he, he maybe, or some, for some reason, he cares a lot about child abuse. Yeah. Like, even though, yeah. I, I mean, I think anybody would be against that, but it just, I got he the idea that for him. He especially hates that yeah. for some reason. Obviously, something happened in his past. Yeah. Uh, so, what did you guys? I mean, we've talked about a lot of good things about this episode, but haven't really talked specifically about the case or the guy that Liv ate, which, by the way, another awesome meal, a nice little omelet. Yeah. Brain omelet. I'd eat it. Uh, <laughs> oh, I totally. <laughs> uh, yeah, my, my uh, mind just goes back to last week when uh, Ravi was like, oh, that smells. Amazing. Good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like down well, it looks because the brains they look like grapefruit, so it doesn't even look disgusting. It just looks like some fruit that you've never seen before. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's wrinkly fruit. It's good for you. <laughs> it's yeah. wrinkly fruit, but it's meat. 
Yeah, he can <laughs> run. That's what, that's what makes it go. different. <laughs> um, I think that, what I like most about this is that we got some more progression with uh, with Manger. And I like the way it was handled. It's, so she eats the brain of a guy that used to be a basketball coach and like super into basketball. But I like the idea of her using his past and his experience with like sports and just athleticism in general to coax him into being positive and helping kids out and just kind of re- remembering what he was happy about what made him young when he was younger. So that, that was really effective. Yeah, I love that one of uh, his trademark abilities that comes through Liv is giving rousing pep talks. Yeah, know, like locker room. Let's go get them, boys. We got to get back out there. And I... I'm glad that Major is, uh, well, he's at least being up front with his feelings, but he's not being up front about, you know, him banging the redhead and, shit. and banging the redhead and, you know. Oh, the banging the redhead one's not, like, it's not, it's not like he was attached to anyone when he did that. I don't think that's necessarily... Um, yeah, that's, bro, yeah, I think he should be more pissed about killing random zombies. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, although the moment's going to come, though, when he realizes that it's Lord's roommate and then things are going to come into Yeah. It. Because, I mean, it's already, like, because obviously the redhead found out in this episode that, uh, that, that Liv and the, you know, Major were kissing, because Liv was telling her about it. Yeah. And there was a hint of jealousy in those eyes. Just well, a... I mean, she immediately, she took that moment to immediately <laughs> stab her to get the blood that she was going to get anyway. <laughs> she was just like, you know what, I want to do this and I need it anyway. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah. Uh, um... I do have to say it was a bit weird at the beginning of the episode how how we left off last week just going straight into them just making out and then we never got a scene of major like confessing his drug problem or anything you know yeah well we we hint that there's a moment where he like throws a thing away like a vial mm. yeah but i think he's still keeping it a secret but he, he i think he just decides internally no no, no, you told no, no because liv says oh there better not be any more utopium in this house exactly no. Yeah, yeah so okay, I, was, I, missed that, I missed that part. So it's implied that after that kissing that night when they were doing whatever, like she, like he told her everything, or at least yeah. all the drug stuff, at least. Yeah, it's just really weird that we didn't get that scene. It felt, it just felt missing whenever, because I would have thought the same thing as you, Mario, except she did say that. I was like, what? Okay. Yeah, yeah. That said, I like that, that how he did good, still have Utopium, because like, obviously he's come out and admitted the problem, and she's like, oh, we're going to get through this, and like, you can't have any more. But then he was still there considering taking more anyway, like, even though it's kind of working through it. Well, it's that's, well, that's it normal. Realistic. I mean, that's the struggle of getting Yeah, over but it, it could have done, like, it kind of dived straight into it really quickly, and then it seemed to be coming out of it really fast as well. So it was just nice that they actually had that in there. Yeah, it was also weird. It was like, so he didn't start going through any kind of withdrawals or anything immediately because mm-hmm. she, he, he woke up to her taking his vitals, not for drug addiction, but for possibly making him a zombie. It was like, no, he seems perfect. It was like, I thought he was like really addicted to drugs. I don't know. By the way, all of our problems could be solved with condoms and rock salt. <laughs> that was a good plan. <laughs> anyway, the whole point of bringing up all this was just to say that uh, at least he's being open with his uh, feelings toward Liv now. And yeah. Just saying, like, hey, I want to have this <gasps> ship. Let's make it work. I think that's good because all of last season it, was, it got really frustrating with him just not being able to have a say in it. And now right. it's everything that she would have wanted. She's just the one that the ball's in her court. Ha <laughs> ha. Tie it to this episode. I hate myself sometimes. <laughs> you guys have any uh, other thoughts about this week's I Zombie? Mm, no. I mean, we got oh, like two Star Wars references, so that's always cool. Yeah. Well, but, uh, uh, the Bob- rat, Boba Rat. Boba Rat, and then there's uh, Never Tell Me the Odds. Right. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah about that's the good. cure, right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think I think it's gotten better. Like, I like that everybody is starting to get more developed. Hmm? Every single one of them is starting to get a little bit more, so it's really... Even getting like everyone getting more invested in everybody in general, so it's it's fun and it's interesting. I would agree. So that's uh, our review of this week's iZombie.